Hi all. Well, I have finished the brick machine and it's working really well. I'll show, I'll uh, do a walk around over here, show you what's going on. Got all the mold all nice and polished and shined up ready for some dirt. If it'll just dry out, it has been raining six weeks in a row. Every weekend it's been wet. And we got a long weekend now, Martin Luther King weekend. Have all kinds of things I need to do. And it's thunderstorming tomorrow. So one more weekend. So I've got a gauge over here tracking the pressure. And that helps you know if you've got uh, your mold uh, set right for the amount of pressure. I've got bolts set over here. And when this thing is closed over here, that will limit it how far it will come up. And so you can adjust it over there. I've got other bolts underneath over here. I don't know if you can see it. But see if I can... Hard to tell. Okay, but this plate right here uh, has bolts underneath it over here that it will come down and stop. And that... I'll, uh, sets the depth of how deep you want the mold to fill up with dirt uh, when you compress it. And so you're, um, you're uh, stopping it right at four inches right here and the bottom one over here is giving you the right depth for the depth of the mold and that's really important. Uh, I've got this brace right over here that when it's closed will be right over this and it'll push up against that right there got my cylinder over here and I thought it had NPT fittings on there but it had SAE fittings so I had to order some new fittings over here to uh, get it to fit. I don't know why they don't make them standard but there must be four different kinds of fittings for hydraulics. So these are half inch lines over here coming from the valve and so um, this lifts it over here that um, takes it down and it uh, as soon as it hits the bottom then it'll release it like that which is nice and uh, so I have a half inch line coming in here from the gear pump so here's the uh, 5 horsepower pump and I put a shield over the top of it over here for uh, moisture and dirt so it doesn't get all over the pump uh, I've got a cover that I broke over here so I've got another one I still need to put that on and got the uh, two-stage gear pump, eight uh, gallons per minute, using a spider coupling because this is one and one eighth, and this was a half-inch shaft, and you can put it together with these spider couplings over here. What was interesting was this pump, uh, it had two fat wires and two small wires, and the wiring diagram showed that some of these pumps come with a thermostat wire of two wires, so I thought that's what I had. So I kept those off and just hooked the uh, two fat wires up. When I powered it up, it just hummed and wouldn't start. Uh, further checking over there, found out those two wires are the starting capacitor. And they got to be connected with the other two wires. Once I got that done, it worked great. But I was turning in the clockwise direction, which turned this thing in the counterclock direction, and I had no power. So I looked up this motor and found out, I mean the gear pump, and found out it needs to go clockwise. So then I uh, had to look to see how do I reverse the, uh, the, the, uh, this motor. And you just reverse those two smaller wires uh, with the two fat wires. And when you, I did that, it's running counterclockwise and runs this thing clockwise and everything works great. So here's my five gallon tank. I filled it full of, of, uh, of hydraulic fluid and it has a one inch pipe that comes out here into the pump and then comes out compressed with a half inch line <coughs> into the, uh, the valve. You can see it over here. It comes in from one end over here and then you got the outputs right here that go to the cylinder. And this one goes back bypass down back to the tank. And I have it going into a filter right here as it goes into the tank. Uh, fairly simple uh, configuration. It's exactly like a uh, log splitter and how they that would work. I 
can't remember if I talked to you about the wheels that I put on this thing over here. It was just sliding metal on metal and did not move very well at all. So I put these wheels on here and it also had handles coming out the side because it took two hand I mean two hands to, to pull this thing. So I shaved those off and I put this handle over here because I want to be able to be in this position right here, reach over and just pull it right on over, fill it with dirt. And then I also made this a lot deeper. It was right up to this line right here and I added all this top section over here so that I've got a nice deep chamber over here uh, as it fills up. So hopefully this thing's going to work good. Uh, it has been so wet I, I don't have uh, any dry dirt. I tried sifting some dirt tonight and uh, this thing is so wet over here it's way wetter than it needs to be uh, when you mix a little water in it so I cannot use that yet. So this is frustrating. I've got this thing all ready to go and can't do anything about it. Uh, let's fire this thing up and show you what it's all about. 